The overall goal of this high-throughput method using transposase is to identify accessible chromatin regions in the human genome. This method can help answer key questions in the epigenomic fields, such as genome-wide locations of regulatory elements. The main advantages of this technique are that it is robust, relatively short, and requires less starting material relatively to other methods of measuring chromatin accessibility, such as DNA-Sec or FairSec. Though this method can provide insight into regulatory landscape of human T lymphocytes, it can also be applied to other systems, such as other human primary cells, cancer cells, human clinical samples, cells from other mammals and organisms. Thaw a 1 milliliter aliquot of 10 million human PBMCs and transfer it to a 50 milliliter tube containing 10 milliliters of supplemented RPMI medium. Then centrifuge the cells at 500 G for five minutes at four degrees Celsius. Next, remove the supernatant and resuspend the cells in 15 milliliters of supplemented RPMI medium. Then transfer the cells to a T75 culture flask and incubate them overnight with humidification. The next day, transfer the floating cells with the sterile 25 milliliter pipette to a 50 milliliter tube. Then count the living cells using tripan blue exclusion. Next, isolate the CD4 positive cells from 10 million living, non-adherent PBMCs using a microbead separation column. Once the